Hi guys, it's Monique. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my January favorites for you guys. And just to throw this out there, my favorites are, I call them lifestyle favorites because it could be a category and it, it could be any category. Um, it could be makeup, it could be planner related, it could be household related. I like to do my favorites together, all looped together. Um, my channel is a mixture of everything that I like. So I don't put my favorites in different categories. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm sure there's something, a little something here for everybody to enjoy. So let's get started. The first thing I have is an oldie, but it's a goodie in my book. My La Femme palette. This was, I got this from Makeup Mania a few years ago, I believe now. And I have rediscovered this lately and I just absolutely love this palette. These colors are absolutely gorgeous and they're very pigmented and that's what I love about these blushes and they're so inexpensive. I think they're like $3 a pot if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember but I'll definitely link um, Makeup Mania down in the bottom box so you guys can check it out and some of the standout colors that I really like are purple passion which is this color um sienna which is this one this is like a total fave of mine and indian rose which is that one right there absolutely love these colors they're so pigmented and just gorgeous everybody I think on the YT knows about these colors <laughs> look at that that's gorgeous for three dollars you can't beat that. Favorite I have this month is Stone Lipstick by MAC. And here is the color. I think it's such a gorgeous color. On me, it's a mute, it's a nude color. So it's almost like a mauve grayish color. And I love this. It kind of almost makes my lips disappear, which I know that's not for everybody, but I like the way it looks, especially when you're wearing the right eye look. It just to me looks so gorgeous so I have been killing this lipstick this month definitely a favorite of mine the next favorite I have is this Bath and Body Works Napa Valley Sunset hand lotion uh hand cream rather I love this first of all it smells amazing and I, I did haul this on my channel um when I did my Bath and Body Works haul I love this. I My hands get extremely dry and this helps moisturize them and actually if you guys can tell I'm almost out of this thing. <laughs> I gotta get some more. Definitely been a favorite. Love this. I have been using the heck out of this thing since I got it. Love it. Bear with me as I show you the next item. It is my swing line laminator that I got from Amazon and I think this was about $22 on Amazon and it is very simple to use. You just plug it in and turn it on right here and there's also a warm and a cool setting if you know depending on what kind of pouches you're using and you just wait for this to warm up if you're using a warm setting or if you're using the cool setting it's ready to go right away very good um laminator i was when i was in the market for looking for laminators um everyone was like oh get the scotch get the scotch but then i don't know when i read the reviews there were a lot of like negative reviews about the pouches getting stuck and crinkling up in there and so forth and the swing line there were very few negative reviews i got this on amazon and even in my planner groups, people had things to say about the scotch, like, oh, you know, don't waste your money, get one that's more expensive, or whatever the case is. And this was like around Black Friday time when I was thinking about getting one, and I kind of waited, and then, you know, anyway, I finally bit the bullet and got me a laminator. The reason I got a laminator is because, um, you guys know I love planners, and now that I'm using a ring-bound planner, it requires dividers. Um, I don't like spending money on dividers when I can make them myself. Stickers, I'm not too familiar with making my own stickers and I'm not actually interested in making my own stickers. I like to support the Etsy shops by buying stickers because I think those ladies are very talented and they work hard at what they do. I don't think I have enough time to sit around and figure out how to try to make stickers. So that's something that yes, I will go buy stickers but um, 
but dividers I can handle that you know and besides it doesn't take long and they come out great I just want to show you an example of one that I made here is an example of one that I made I got the cardstock paper from Hobby Lobby and I also got a tab punch from there which I used to make the tabs absolutely love these dividers and I made mine half letter size to fit to fit with my um, so much crafting inserts because the regular like a5 size they don't they are slightly big they're slightly wider than the so much crafting inserts and I just didn't like it didn't look uniform so decided to make my own and I'm not disappointed at all I love these and I also ended up making a dashboard out of um this is a dollar dollar target spot um, gift bag that I also made out of a that I made a dashboard out of so this just sits on the front when you open up my planner this is on the front and I absolutely love this and it's so cute and if you guys can see I actually if it'll focus colored it in just a lightly colored brown because I just thought it's cute <laughs> so I like this a lot and I got inspiration to do this from Instagram so there you go Another planner favorite is the We Are Keepers Crocodile Power Punch, and this is the one fourth. I love this thing. Now, the reason I got this heavy duty one was because um, of punching the the um, holes in my dividers, which I can show you guys. You know, they're the standard holes in the sides there this goes through that the lamination like a breeze and of course i use this to repunch holes in my inserts after i washi tape the edges and it also has like a lock so that it stays closed or you can just squeeze the handles together and release the lock and it opens up and it's ready for use and normally what i do is i open i hope you guys can see that there's a little door here that catches the little circles that pop out. Now I usually, when I'm using it to punch holes in my um, inserts or my dividers, I open this and I look down and use it as a guide because then I can see exactly where I'm punching, which for me is a struggle. That's why I don't like the six punch and the other punches because I cannot see what I'm punching and where I'm punching. This allows me to accurately punch holes in the right spot. So I love this. So, mm -mm -mm, can't get enough of this guy. I have a fail. One fail that I just, <sighs> I was so disappointed in. I don't, I no longer have the product because I gave it away, but I'll stick a picture around here somewhere. It is the MAC Liquid Lipstick, and I think, I can't remember which color I got, but I'll insert the name below. I think it was matte, so I don't, you know what, I can't remember the color. That's how angry I was. That lipstick went on terrible. It didn't go op on opaque. It was patchy. And when it dried down, it was a mess. Oh, Mac, that was a mega fail on your part. I do not like it. And ooh, 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 no. I would never recommend anybody to purchase those lip liquid lipsticks. And I was so intrigued by them. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so nice or whatever. Mm -mm. and I was telling my girlfriend and she was like oh can I have it or whatever so I just gave it to her I'm like hey if you can make it work for you enjoy it so I wasn't really interested in returning it because I ordered it by mail and you know that can be just a little hassle also but in any event thank you guys so much for watching my video we've come to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye and now that I'm using a ring bound planner it requires dividers um, I don't like spending money on dividers when